Welcome back guys in the previous video you learned uh, about what you're going to learn in this tutorial series and uh, you also learn how to install the Laravel and run it on your computer. Uh, in this tutorial you're going to learn uh, how to install um, you know uh, Laravel using Valley in fact how to create projects using Valley and how to run it uh, live. Okay. Uh, so Valley is basically for the people who are using Mac uh, so in case if you aren't using Mac then you can just skip this video and go on to the next one but if you, you are using a Mac then brilliant you can uh, you know this video is for yourself so let's begin then so Valley or Homestead is basically a development environment uh, provided by Laravel uh, it's a local development environment uh, just like your local service MAMP and ZAMP okay uh, so there are the installation methods already been mentioned on laravel.com uh, you can either follow this uh, or I have created another playlist series for how to install Laravel Valley uh, and how to install MySQL and all of that stuff uh, into the entire and different series as well so you can go ahead and uh, click on the description box and get this link and you can watch uh, how to install Laravel Valley uh, once you've installed that uh, in case if you already already have that uh, then brilliant then I'll tell you how to do this the first thing you need to do is basically uh, install the uh, Laravel installer which I have explained that to you in the previous series so I won't be doing that you just need to go on to the um, your root directory and just type composer global require Laravel installer it will install the Laravel installer then in the export.sh where you have the bash file uh, then you need to define the alias uh, Laravel so that when you run the Laravel command system should know where the Laravel is installed so you just need to define this path uh, as an alias uh, then what you need to do is once you have the Laravel Valley installed so in my I'm just going to exit this okay yep yeah. okay so I'll just go on to the valid directory so my valley is installed into the valid directory i just go inside that okay and then all i have to do is basically say laravel new and my project name so let's say my project name is my new project and just hit enter and that's it that's all you have to do in order for you to uh, create a project uh, with Laravel uh, with Valley. Okay, so this is going to go ahead and, and do all of that. I'm just going to pause the video while it does. Brilliant. So it's been installed, and, and I must say it was much faster compared to when I, I did it with localhost. Uh, so Laravel Valley uh, is definitely faster. Great. So I've got that installed, and now I need to display that. So in Valley, uh, in order for you to display something, you just need to create a link for that and park it. So we have a command called um, valley park. So we just need to park it. Okay, so you just created a path for it. I'll just explain to you what this means in a moment. And then you just need to link it. So valley link. And we want, so basically this has created a symbolic link. Uh, and go ahead and define that to this particular path. So if you just type valet links, you can see that um, the name of our app was, let me just check. All right, sorry. Uh, I think you need to go on to your project first before you define this, sorry. So just need to go to the project. Project name was my new project. And then you just need to do valley park and then valley links so make sure you are into the project okay great so you can see that um it should be my new project somewhere yeah i do need to do my valley link not links okay great now you do valley links and you can see this one right here. I'll just highlight it for you. You can see site name is uh, my new project. Uh, URL at which your project will be available is uh, my new project dot test, and it's created the path uh, which is basically path to your project where the project resides. So when you did the valid park, it is actually created the path for it. Uh, and when you did valid link, which is this command right here, 
then it has created the link or the URL for your uh, valid site and it is directed to this particular path okay so now if you go and just copy this path and if you go ahead and uh, paste it here and hit enter uh, okay let me check check let's just close this open fresh and sure enough you can see that the Laravel project is showing and being displayed over here so like I said it's very simple you just need to go ahead and uh, after you've installed Valet just go into the Valet directory and type Laravel, Valet, uh, Laravel uh, new in the project name go inside of the project name and type Valet Park and then Valet Link and just to check uh, what link is that you can always uh, do valid links and it'll give you the link of the site and the uh, directory where it exists and then just go ahead and access your project onto the site okay it's very simple okay uh, so in the next uh, video we want to talk about uh, you know uh, starting to talk about different uh, structure of the directories you know what is this app and uh, what is this config and public resources where does all the files reside so basically we'll discuss about the structure of uh, the laravel uh, directories and where, where do these files reside that we need to use okay see you then bye bye